welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Brie. Welcome. In today's video, I am going to be doing a really quick and easy makeup look. This is my everyday makeup look for work, running errands, do just doing stuff around the house. This would also be a really great makeup look to do for a back to school as well. So very, very simple and easy to do. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then go ahead and just keep on watching. This. So first I'm just going to take this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I'm going to just put this in my T-zone. That's all I really want to prime today. It's right in through here. And here, a little bit in there. And for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love using these concealers as a foundation. They're so easy to use. I'm going to be taking uh, Light 12 as my foundation shade. I'm going to be just putting it right here. Just very, just going to be putting it just all over. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and rub that in. You can take a sponge or a brush to rub it to uh, buff this in as well. I just really love using my fingers and my hands to do this. It's so easy to do. It takes no time at all. Then if I see any spots that are red or need a little bit more attention, I just go back in just with a little bit. And now I just go in with a translucent powder. I just have this uh, Kat Von D shade and light palette that I use and I just take the lightest shade here. And I just take it on this little domed brush. This is a really, really cheap brush from AOA Studio. It's the Shop Miss A website. I'll leave that link down below just in case you want to check out their brushes. They're actually very soft. And then I just go over under my eyes with that lightly. Make sure that I set my concealer on my eyelid so that it doesn't crease as well. And you don't have to use this powder in this palette. Literally any translucent powder will work as well. I just lightly dust this all over my face just to kind of set it down. Now I'm just going to go in with this Flower uh, Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. I'm just going to use this to quickly bronze up the face. I just make sure that I get it all up in my hairline to make it look a little bit more natural. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with a blush as well. This is the Milani Luminoso blush. Just quickly just go over where I went, where I put that bronzer and just kind of mesh it together. And you know what? I am going to go back in with that bronzer and just put a little bit of this in my crease. Not a lot at all. I just want a little bit of dimension. Then I qu I'm quickly just going to go into this Rach Loves Pixie palette. Grab a little highlight brush and I'm just going to go into this highlight called T. I'm just going to put this right here. I don't really want a blinding highlight. I'm going for more of that subtle effect. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. 
Now for brows, I'm going to go in with the Essence Make Me Brow. Quickly comb through my brows. to give them a little bit of shape and dimension. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I'm just ever so slightly going to put that on. And now I'm just going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then I'm just going to pop on this L'Oreal Glowing Lip Gloss in Sunday Fun Day. And that's it, that's all there is to it. It's a super easy, hassle-free makeup look and you didn't really have to add add blush and highlighter if you didn't want to or you didn't even have to add highlighter. Um, I just always like adding it just to give me a little bit of a glow. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.